Jay Huss. You heard his new EP? Darth Vader. Bad boy tune. Did you like it straight away? I liked it straight away. I didn't like it straight away. I didn't like it. Either. I was you like, I, I got it, yeah, and I was like, you know what I mean? It's Jay Huss still. Played it, I was like, mm, 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 yeah, I survived still. And the thing is, yeah, I was a bit apprehensive because I wasn't. Common sense was so good. Mm. I trust Jay Huss, you know. You know, this, you know this, is, this is the thing. I trust like, Jay Huss, you know. I don't know. I, I should trust Jay Huss, you know. I should have. I should have. Should have and I apologise, Jay Huss, if you're watching. Because <laughs> common sense was so good. He's watching, he's watching. When people, people have been talking about, ah, uh, yo, um, new Jay Huss music coming out, I'm like, uh, I, hope it's as, I hope it's as good as, you know. Then I heard it. Uh, Dark Vader. But I listened to it on my phone. Yeah. So I was just like, like, just phone first, speakers. I listened to it first time in the car. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I heard it on the phone. I was like, okay, it's all right. Yeah, cool. Then obviously I did the drive down to Windsor yesterday. Played it in the car. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, yeah, you can't play it. Yeah. Can, can't play it. I don't know if you can. If I can, if I can have you, nobody can. Hey! <laughs> Yo, don't play too long, you know. You don't want to get it pulled down, fam. Nah, but it's, it's Black Butter record, man. I think that's his record there, isn't it? Yo. Who's that going to pull this down? Jay Huss. Don't pull this down. If this pull gets pulled down, you know, it's this boy. Just keep talking, man. We've been pulled down already. Jeez. You get me? We've been pulled down already, and he's playing with fire. Yo, you know, you know, every time I hear, do a leaf out here? I think, no, you're a pagan, man. <laughs> <laughs> every time I hear that Calvin Harris and do a leaf tune, I'm like, yo, burn that tune, man. You know what, though? I haven't really listened to the second track um, scene. They're not, they're not as fuck. That's, that's the well, fire. I dance Dark Side is the fire tune. Dancing Man's my favourite. And Dancing Man's good. Dancing Man's my favourite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But scene, I ain't listened to because it's got the, um, the, like, the explicit finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've been in the car with the kids all weekend, yeah, so. Yeah. Um, Hey man, but you know what? Lady Leisha tweeted you yeah, in the week sometime. She was like, "Oh, Jay Huss is the UK Fifty Cent," yeah. and I think she was saying it more about looks. She was saying it more about looks because Jay Huss has been wearing do rag. Do rag and thing. She said, "Oh, young Fifty Cent," but then I, I tweeted her back and she was replying. We was talking. Me and Le- me and Leisha bridging. That's famous stuff. now, yeah. Bridging now. No, no, we ain't famous, but we're we bridging to me and Leisha. Oh, same, 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 same. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, and then <laughs> Leisha was basically saying, "Well, we was basically saying, um, like in terms of music, like obviously the music doesn't sound the same, no. but the Jay Huss wave." It's kind of similar to the Fifty Cent wave, you know the the in, the the way they use melodies and the slightly slurred words and you know the impact and the, I can kind of I can kind of understand that, that. And if you look that, at you know way of thinking, if you look at like Fifties content, it was real street, yeah, real crud, one hundred. Same with Jay Huss, real street. If you actually listen to what he's saying, yeah. As much as it makes you dance to it what you're you saying. Dance, but you're, da- you're dancing to crud, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Huss <laughs> is talking crud, so, like... <laughs> talk about man running upon man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it makes it sound really nice and danceable. Yeah. Even, you know, I remember someone said to... Was it you, Spock? It was a card. Um, pe- pe- on some award show, people were dancing to... Did you see what I done? Oh, someone said to me, like, it was a card. This Jay Huss... Oh, no, no, it's my uncle. This Jay Huss guy has got someone... Has got all these young white kids in the audience singing all this crud. I can't remember what song it was, but he performed it somewhere. But yeah, man, Jay Huss, man. Jay Huss is big stuff. Big man, big team. And I think saying that is the UK 50 Cent is a big shout because 50 Cent, obviously, is 50 Cent. 50 is 50, And Jay man. Huss is sick. And the album, I can't believe how good the album was. I wasn't expecting Common Sense to be that good still. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this new Jay Huss album. Um, before we do the Did You See, I just want to quickly say... Big up to Sophie Lou. New singles about to drop. Yeah, yeah. Got premiered on the M radio. Oh, here we go. Spock. Did you engineer that one as well, Spock? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Sophie Lou's got a new tune called All. Is it All I Need? Oh, Big up to Sophie. Yeah. yeah, big tune still. Because she sent me some, she sent me exclusive versions still, man. Man, man, man felt good still. But yeah, man, big up to Sophie. Big up to Sophie, man. I'm trying to find the clips though. I'll play a little bit if she don't mind. She might pull it down, you know. <laughs> Selfie, don't pull it don't down, pull yeah. It down, so. We know you. And she's... <laughs> oh, all right. Spock's playing it, master. Don't play too much, though. Don't now. play too much, man. I mean, people try and, like, record it and, like, yeah. not buy the tune. Just buy the tune, man. In it. 
and she's a supporter of the podcast as well. Yeah, so man. That's why, man. That's why I feel no way about wearing these old old hoodies, you know. <laughs> What time are you gonna go? 10, 10 15. Hey, let it drop, let it drop. Yeah, man. June 10th, I think that drops. That's next weekend, and next weekend. Yeah. So look out for that one. It's a vibe. But yeah, let's jump into the um, Did You See's. Did you see what I got? Came in the black bands left in the white I've got a couple still. Yeah, you can start. This is a big, like, you know, debate. And I know we ain't got time for it. Yeah. Yeah? YouTube deletes violent music videos flagged by the Met. <sighs> You're seeing a rap music glamorising violent crime. Now. If... I can go onto YouTube, yeah, and put on some rock music, some devil worshipping rock music that's like, you know, sacrificing lambs and like yeah. killing off like goats. I know you're saying so. I was I was gonna say I can go onto YouTube and search <sighs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Lee yeah. Bruce Willis, sorry, like yeah. action film with action guns and film violence. With guns and violence. And I'm like, yo, how come you wanna come take off the drill? artist music and just like lock it off like that mm. and i know it's only set people i think they said some only certain thing connected to someone getting like well i think something. i think whoever it was the police let's just say the police i think the police gave youtube a list of 100 videos that they weren't taken down and 100? youtube youtube took down 50 so fam yeah a hundred the police are watching all the police are watching. I think what the police are basically saying is these, the drill songs and videos are actually outlining real crimes and they're actually talking about real stuff that's happening and threatening other gangs and they're saying that basically it's, um, it's cool. fueling it, it's fueling, cool, it's it, fueling yeah. and creating attention. No, but the thing is, yeah. Which I, I understand, I understand, the, I understand what the police are saying, I understand yeah. the sentiment, but for, you go, on, you it's go on. freedom of speech, man. It's freedom of speech and freedom of expression. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, yeah, is a case that, yes, it's happening. I don't condone any of it. I don't condone, like, the, the crimes. But it's like, where do you draw the line to well, say, see, that's the thing. you can't say this? See, that's it. That's what, what the, From your uh, background, okay. you can't say this. What, what they've done, I think they tried to take them down under the Hate Speech Act. Yeah. And they said, nah. So what they're doing now, they're treating it as terrorism. Oh, my days. It's been, all the videos have been taken down under the Terrorism Act. Because with, that's what it was, yeah. Because with the hate speech, you have to get permission from YouTube to take it down. So under terrorism, they can just take it down. So, like, they don't, they don't, any doubt, any, oh, any, Babylon, in, anyway. any inkling that it's, that it's terrorism, they can oh, just take it down. Born Babylon. Yeah, I mean, you know, I can't, I can't outright say Bond Babylon because it is. It must be tricky for them still. It must be tricky for the police and whoever's in charge to try and cut down on these kind of violence. Well, but if you cut, if you're gonna take that down, where do, you, like you said, where do where you, draw, do the you line? draw the line? You know, what I mean, why is it okay to? Okay, because even these, even these like drill music videos and that kind of stuff, I'm pretty sure, whether it's true or not, they're putting their message saying this is just for. This isn't real, basically. You know, yeah. the little message at the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just for entertainment purposes. So if they're doing that, why? If the if the drill videos are saying it's for entertainment purposes, why do why don't they believe that? But they believe that Bruce Willis, yeah, shooting up man in the yeah. heart. You know, it's just ready. Ready to draw the line. Ready to draw the line, line, man. It's sticky stuff, but at the same time, desperate tweeted in the week. He was like, ah. Oh, all this, um, say, criminalization, this isn't a word for word quote, <laughs> but all this um, drill music being locked off and banned is only going to support the drill scene because the same thing happened with gangster rap. Yep. And once it was criminalized, that's, what I'm saying. that's when gangster rap blew you know, up was, because it, there's people that will want yo, to hear it more now yes. that it's being banned. And so. that's the thing, I've been watching the Defiant Ones and seeing the way that gangster rap and West Coast rap was treated. Mm. I'm looking and thinking, yo, 
this is what's happening here, mm. and it's just going to make more people want to listen to it. Mm-hmm. It'll be the same thing, exact same thing. It's not going to change. Yeah. But yeah, what's your? Did you say your third next one? I got another one in a minute. I got one. I feel like you might have this. Raheem Sterling's gone to Oh, don't get me started on that. Man. Did you have it? Yeah. No, I didn't have that I one. I didn't have it. I didn't have that one, but it's just... Oh. I mean, this is this is another... Another tricky one. Because I, I do understand where... I do understand the outcry, but at the same time, it's a man's time. I don't understand the outcry. I don't. Should I tell you why I don't? Yeah, go on. Because, one... If I have a lion... Tattooed on my arm. Mm. Does that mean I want to go out there and do something to a lion? No. If I have, uh, I don't know. No, that's a different. Like, if you have no. a lion tattooed on your arm, it means you like lions. Uh, no. So what? No, it doesn't. It doesn't well, necessarily. That's, that's, that's what it kind of implies. It doesn't necessarily. No, it, it doesn't have to mean you know that. I mean? But it implies. If I but have a tattoo, the thing of, is, yeah. If I if have, I, so if, I, if I have a tattoo of like Jesus on my arm, it, it kind of implies that I, I, I believe in Jesus. Even if I have an AK forty-seven. Tech 9 Desert Eagle on my arm does that mm. mean I'm carrying around artillery does it mean I like artillery no it means I got a tattoo but it implies that you that you like it it implies that you're glamorising it nah man it's not glamorising you know I mean? it's just no, a but tattoo it's, it's the implication you know what I mean so that's and what I'm saying is, on, on that part I do understand why I there's I think I think the media's got an agenda against Raheem Sterling mm. they have because from time they sat there and said oh why is he um, a massive um, something like 80,000 pound a week footballer goes to um where did he go? Primark Primark, yeah, yeah. Primark to buy something. And I'm like, You're making that as news. Are you serious? When I saw that, I was like, You like idiots, you know. Just because my man's getting paid, does it mean he has to shop in Harrods every week? No, you're just mm-hmm. trying to you're just trying to get him out here for some reason. And then when they came with this stupidness, I was like, You people, yeah, are the reason why Certain black footballers, they don't want to talk to no media. Yeah, 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 of course. They don't want to because you just try and paint them in a certain way. And this kind of... It's like you should have seen some of the things. Uh, yo, Daily Mail, you're full of pagans, you know. Yeah. Pagans and all the people with the comments. You are super duper pagans. Once some, someone saying, oh, they should make him laser it off. Are you stupid? <laughs> are you dumb? Laser it off. Yo, if the boy wants a tattoo, he has a tattoo. And the fact is, and, and did you see what Sky Sports tried as well? The again? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Raheem Sterling put, come out with a statement saying basically, um, I got the tattoo. No, obviously not word for word. I got the tattoo because dad my, dad was, my dad was gone down when he was two. When I when Raheem Sterling was two. Yeah, I shoot my right foot. I shoot my right foot and I promise I'd never pick up a gun. Basically, something yeah. like that. So Sky Sports, you know, Pull it on their TV screen or whatever, but they managed to fit an extra word. Fit in a word. I said, "Ah, oh, I promise I'd never put pick up another, a, gun a gun again. Again, Sky Sports put the again in there to make it seem like and Carl yeah, Walker you... outed them. Big up Carl Walker. Yeah. To make it you seem like oh, yeah, no you, more, so it's all right. <laughs> Before he was a pagan. <laughs> mm. I mean, I've had, I've had because I commented on the, um, you know, when Gary Lineker posted something, yeah. I commented on it. I've been getting notifications all week. Like, I've had to mute it still, but there's been a big conversation. Some people saying, ah, uh, he should. No, the conversation was more... Because basically, it's been implied that the media... Call it bullying. The media bullying Raheem Sterling because he's black. I, I don't think it's because yeah, he's black. See, that, it's that, specifically him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wanted to say... I wanted to be like, yeah, it's a black thing. Because I, I wanted to get that. It's not a black thing. But it's I don't think him. Because some of the things I've seen about... Wayne Rooney and yeah, other footballers. Yeah, I can't yeah. say that this is a it's, black thing. It's but literally I just I don't know what him. it is. I think, I think yeah, when it comes to um, footballers, in this case, Raheem Sterling, I think, yeah, the media look at it like this. I think they see it as, OK, this footballer, look at the background, it's come from He's Jamaican. Jamaican-born. But even, OK, yeah, Raheem Sterling from Jamaican-born or whatever, Wayne Rooney, working class. I working think, class. I think, I think the newspapers look at these working class footballers 
they get all this money and they think, how dare this man spend all this mm-hmm. money? You, you're not. How dare you get paid yeah, that much? You're not a rich. You're not a rich blood. You know what yeah. I mean? You're yeah. working class. You've gotten all this money, but still, you're working yeah. class. So we're trying think, to drag you down. Yeah, I think the papers are trying to remind these footballers that they're working class and they don't deserve this money. That's why I think it is. They're trying to. They're trying to put. They're trying to pull it in their head that the footballers aren't worth this money. Some idiot says, oh, he should be dropped from the team in Russia. I'm like, yeah. he's one of England's best players. Yeah. To be honest, to be honest, he is, at the moment, he's, he's England's best player. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a Sterling shirt. He's England's, England's best player. I'm, 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 I can I'm, say I'm, that, because Deli Ali has been dead most of the season. I don't even rate Deli And Harry Kane. Stuff. Yo, Salah Donia for the golden boot when you're begging goals. Yeah. You get me? So the fact is, Raheem Sterling is England's best player going into yeah. this World Cup, and you're trying to drag him down like this in front before the game the games even start. Nah, nah, you can't. Nah, I'm not buying it. I'm and not I think, buying it. Yeah, I just feel like the, the, the newspapers are trying to say, yo, working class footballers or whatever, giving all this money, how dare you spend it? I think they're trying to make the footballers feel like they shouldn't be on this amount of money. They're just pagans. Mm. All of them. Yo, what's good, what's good, what's good? It's the Hard Food Podcast. Back again. My name is Juice English. Jackson King. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit these videos that might be popping up. Press that button that should be down here. Somewhere. And just enjoy what you're listening to and watching. Get involved, comment, say what you want. I don't take it to heart. (laughs) (laughs) Because it's all good to me. But yeah, subscribe, follow, press the videos wherever they are, and enjoy. Bless up. Big up.